Okay, let's have a problem on the properties of the ideal gas. So a diving bell has a shape of a frostum of a right circular cone with a closed top 3 meters in diameter, open bottom 4.2 meters in diameter, and is 3 meters high. Okay, so we have this closed top 3 meters in diameter, and an open bottom 4.2 meters in diameter, and its height is 3 meters. It is lowered in an upright position until it rests on an ocean floor. It will be like this. Okay, assuming that this is the ocean floor. And it has a unit weight. The water here has a unit weight of 10.05 kilonewtons per cubic meters. In this position, the compressed air inside the diving bell has an altitude of 1.2 meters. Okay, so this will be the depth of the ocean floor. And it, sta it states that the water inside the, I mean the air, the compressed air inside this diving bell in this position has an altitude of 1.2 meters. Now, assuming the atmospheric pressure to be 101.325 kilopascal, determine the depth of the ocean floor. So, we are required to calculate this depth here. So, how can we do that? What is the principle that we should use? Okay, so from this topic, no? Actually, and dito siya sa itaas. So, from the one of the property of the ideal gas, we can use this principle. P1, B1 is equals to P2, B2. Now, we need to define what is P1, what is B1, what is P2, and what is B2. So, ganito siya. Yung P1, B1 is the, uh, I mean, the P1 is the pressure initially, yung hindi pa nag-submerge yung diving bell natin sa tubig. So, yung P1 here is just the um, we need to consider the air, no? The P1 here is just the pressure of the air initially. So, at initial position, um, the pressure there is just the atmospheric pressure. And that is the 101.325 kilopascal. Now, what is the P2? The P2 here is the pressure of the air at this position, at this second position. Na. So, ano yung pressure daw dito? So, how can we calculate this pressure dito? Okay, so one um, concept in the pres in pressure of, a of the air, no? So the pressure of the air, anywhere that is constant. Kumbaga, uh, the pressure here is P, so we also have this pressure here as P, or dito, or dito, or anywhere dito, as long as air siya. Okay, so meaning we can calculate this pressure of air by just equating the pressure of water up to this point, from here up to that point. Okay, and... Um, and take note, this should be 1.8 meters since that is 3 minus 1.2. Okay, by calculating this depth, we can express this into D. D minus 1.8. Okay, that is D minus this 1.8. Now, from here, we can calculate the pressure of this air just gamma of the water times this depth. Okay? Claro? Okay, but take note, we need to, um, I mean, we need to use the absolute pressure dito. So, the P2 we need to use here is just um, atmospheric pressure plus the gauge pressure. Take note, this is the gauge pressure due to the liquid. 9.81 times, uh, times its depth dito. And that is D minus 1.8. Okay. Now, the volume naman, what is the V1? So, V1 initially is just the um, air that occupies the diving bell. Or simply, that is just the volume of this diving bell. Okay, so what is the volume of this? Take note, this is a um, frostum of a cone. Or actually, we can use this um, presmoidal formula. Okay, this is the volume of, it, of a presmoidal formula. So, I would suggest ito yung gamitin natin. Okay? Kasi mas general siya. Okay, by using this formula, um, this H here is the height of this cone. So, 3 over 3 times those area. Ano yung area natin? Area 1 and area 2. So, this should be the area 1 and dito sa area 2, dito sa baba. But, you can interchange that. That, um, hindi, na hindi naman yan magmamatter sa uh, formula. Okay, so let me show you that in the calculator. So, um, that is H over 3 or 3 over 3. 3 over 3, then multiplied by this area. So, I will express this into area. A plus 
area 2 is B, okay, uh, plus square root of area 1 and area 2. Okay, para mas madali natin i-calculate. Now, if I press calc, uh, magtatanong siya ano yung area 1 natin. So, uh, let's call this area 1 dito sa taas. And that is pi over 4. Diba? This is a circular polygon. So, I will input the calculator. Pi over 4. Okay, that is pi over 4. Ha? Mas madali siyang i-input pag 0.25 pi. So, pi over 4 times diameter squared. Okay, now area 2. So, area dito sa ibaba. And take note that is 4.2 meters in diameter. So, pi over 4 times uh, 4.2 squared. Okay, so after this, ito na yung magiging volume natin. 30 point, uh, let's say 30.82 cubic meters. Okay, now, ano yung V2 natin dito? Okay, V2 here. Take note, we are to consider the air because ito yung gas dito. Okay, so V2 is just the air at this position. So, how can we calculate that? Okay, so by using this formula again, we need to know at least two areas. So, this one, this area here, area from end to end, no? Area here, and we need to calculate this area dito. So, we need to calculate first the diameter of this one. Okay, so you, so you can do that. Okay, so, but here I will show you a um, uh, calculator technique muna. Okay, I, but actually that is a principle. Um, generally, that is a principle. Okay, I will not call this a calculator technique. Okay, so by using our calculator, let me show you this. Okay, so, uh, first, ganito siya. Um, I will choose a reference point. Parang hindi na save yung data siya. Okay, so ganito lang ha. Huwag nyo muna itong consumen dito. Okay, ito yung magiging dito but ganito siya i-calculate um, sa calculator. Okay, so this one. I will choose this reference point dito sa ibaba. And I uh, this will represent the x ng ating, sa ating calculator. And this will represent the area. Okay, dito is y yan. Okay, so disregard muna ha. Baka malito kayo na sa vertical yung x and horizontal yung y. So, hindi yan. Ganito yan. Uh, by using this, we need to choose um, at least three known points. This is the um, graph of the kumbaga um, x, I mean the height over the versus the area at any point dito. Okay, ganito yan. So, using the calculator, we will go to mode 3. Mode stat 3. Then, um, dito tayo sa quadratic equation because it de define natin yung area at any point here with uh, with respect to x natin with respect to distance x sa pataas yung height natin okay so we will choose three known points or syempre dito sa ibaba at this point okay at this point we will call this area 1 okay ha if that is area 1 so our x here take note our x is oriented vertical our x is 0, our area 1 is this one, the area nito. That is 0 0.25 pi times diameter of that, that is 4.2 squared. Okay. Now, ano yung magiging area 2 natin? Uh, take note, uh, we need to know 3 points because this is a quadratic equation. So, ang area 2 natin dito, of course, ito, alam, na, alam natin yung area dito. Okay, that one. So, ano yung isusulat natin sa calculator? So, when x is from here up to that point, that is 3, our y here or our area is 0.25 pi times diameter of that, that is 3 squared. Okay, now ano yung third point natin? Ano yung uh, uh, pangatlong known point natin dito? Actually, anywhere, no? It can be here. It can be here, anywhere of that. Basta alam natin yung area or diameter. So, the best way to do this is sa gitna. Dito. Okay, sa gitna dito. Let's call that area 3 from um, 1.5. Or kumbaga sa gitna niya. Bakit dito, dito yung pinaka-the best na gamitin? 
because the diameter of this sa gitna is just the average ng diameter at end at top natin. Okay, yan yung best option talaga pag ganito. Okay, by using that, um, that is when x is 1.5, the area here is just uh, the same pa rin, pi over 4 or 0.25 pi. Now, ano yung magiging diameter natin? That is the average of that 2. That is 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Ano yung average diameter niya? That is 3 plus 4.2. Okay, and that is squared. That one. Okay, press equals. Then, after that, press TA. Then, hanapin natin yung um, three coefficients niya sa quadratic equation. So, that is in the apps. And regression, 8. Okay, 8. Then, kukunin natin yung values ng A, B, and C. So, A is in the 1. Okay, I will restore this or store this into A. Para mas madali. Then, apps. Um, A pa rin. Kunin natin si B. And I will store this to B. Then, balik ka. Apps. Then, regression. Kukunin ko si C. Then, I will store this to C. Okay. Now, after that, um, i-clear natin yung setup. Balik tayo sa original setup natin. Okay. Yes. Then, yun. We will integrate this. Okay. Huwag kayong matakot. Ito is simple integration lang to. A plus BX. Ito yung format. Plus BX. CX squared. Okay, as you can see, this is just the quadratic equation that represents the area at any point of this um, presmatoid. Uh, multiplied by H. Kumbaga, area, this whole term is area times height. But ano yung magiging limit natin? That is when... Okay, look at this. That is when, di ba ito yung gusto natin kuning volume? That is at this point to that point. So, that is 1.8 from here, from x is 1.8 to x is up to that point, 3. Okay, gets lang. Okay, so the, uh, the limit here is just from 1.8 until 3. So, pressing equal, this is the volume of this air dito. Okay, ito yun, V2. Now, uh, para mas maganahan kayo dito, look at this, what if kunin natin yung buong volume, this V1, using this quadratic equation, I mean this integration. Okay, ganito yan. Diba, if we want to calculate all the volume here, we need to set the limits from 0 up to 3. That is 0 until 3. And that is equals to this one, 30.8 ito. Okay. Okay, so ganito siya. But I will not go further in this in this discussion dito. Sa sa integral calculus na natin ito or in this solid geometry topic. Okay? All we need to know here is just the principle muna dito. Or the properties and the ideal dyan. Now, after this, we have defined all the defined, I mean the uh, required parameters. Okay, so we using this um, principle to substitute P1 is this one. V1 is this one. V2 is this whole term, okay, and V2 is this one, so we can calculate the depth of the um, ocean floor, okay, that's the te technique of this problem.